I'm Richard Johnson, I'm the, uh, the Chief Information Security Officer for the Westpac Group. Veterans and veteran support is something that I personally am very passionate about. Uh, I have a background uh, in, in the military. It also happens to be something that Westpac Group is very progressive and supportive of as well uh, in terms of doing uh, the right thing to help support this, uh, this group of, of employees. Within cybersecurity, there's actually a lot of parallels uh, between the kinds of, of problems that we solve uh, and the problems that the military deals with in the real world. Uh, even some of the language is the same in that we still will work with uh, demilitarized zones, uh, assets, defense, monitoring, uh, counterfire, uh, interdiction, uh, defense in depth, uh, reconnaissance uh, and, uh, and containment. These are all uh, concepts from military and they apply just as, uh, as equally in the corporate world with, uh, in cyber security. I actually uh, say to people when asked what's the most important quality to be a, a CISO, which is my role, the number one quality is resilience. It's the ability to get up day after day and keep going, rinse and repeat, um, work through the challenges of the day, make some, make some good decisions, help drive things forward, and then, and, then, and then move up for another day of the same. Uh, one of the areas we find uh, those kind of qualities actually is in veterans, uh, where we're looking at people who are coming out of the military, uh, and they've had to deal with those uh, and display those, those same values of passion and integrity uh, drive, adaptability and resilience in that they can keep going and move through complex um, adverse situations uh, and still make good decisions and drive and, and lead by example. That's one of the reasons we're very supportive uh, of working with veterans groups uh, in, in bringing them into the team. Several of the things Westpac does through its employee advocacy group is work to directly support these group of individuals. We see three main areas where we want to offer that additional support. The first is for veterans who are transitioning out of their military career into another career. And so we work with groups like With You, With Me, which is an organisation designed to help train our ex-military personnel into a second career within corporate life. So we work actively with those organisations to help sponsor, mentor and place uh, military veterans into a second career within, within corporate life. Secondly, we find that an area that, uh, that's often overlooked but requires additional support is spouses of actively serving military members. These are people who may find that they're rapidly being um, moved or relocated to another location. We much prefer that they could stay with us and stay employed. So we have a team that looks at mobility uh, for spouses of active uh, serving veterans to help support and relocate them without having to have them leave the group. The third area and one that's very dear to my heart is, is active serving members who are, who are also uh, working with us, so members of the Defence Reserves. Uh, Westpac is very progressive, recognising the, the, the value of these uh, people are, are offering the country by serving, but also the skill sets that these people have, which are very valuable uh, to companies such as uh, the Westpac Group. One of the things we do is, is we've identified that the Defence Reservist today needs additional leave uh, and support to be able to fulfil their, their military obligations. So Westpac's very uh, happy as, as the Westpac Group uh, to offer um, four weeks additional defence leave on top of the normal four weeks leave and some additional provision for, for, for further leave as well uh, to help these, uh, these uh, members work in the corporate life but also have a fulfilling uh, military career as well never ever ever boring, often white knuckle terror, uh, but always challenging and rewarding uh, such that I, uh, I find it's quite addictive and want to keep going and, and, and look forward to the next day. These are challenges that military people know uh, very well uh, and have dealt with on a day-to-day on -day basis in the challenges and realities of military situations, uh, whether, whether uh, training or live fire, and we find those skills and attributes transcend readily uh, from a military career into the corporate situation. I can't think of a kind of a, a career that's, that's in the corporate world that's, um, that's an equivalent uh, to the military um, that's, that's closer than perhaps cybersecurity is today. And that's why we find uh, veterans perform very well uh, within this field and we're very keen and happy to support them.